Hello dear students how are you I hope you all are in the best of your health and enthusiastic towards your studies children today we are going to discuss chapter number 9 of class 6 science that is the living organisms characteristics and habitat let us see what we already know about this chapter organisms which breathe are called where do we live where do camels live let us see what we are going to study in this chapter organisms and their surroundings habitat and adaptations a journey through different habitats characteristics of living organisms like respiration in living organism do all living things respond to stimuli excretion in living organisms reproduction in living organisms and do all living things move dear students first of all we will discuss about living organisms and the surroundings where they live you all know that the places in this world are different from one another some places are very cold some are hot some places are dry whereas some places are humid but all the places have different climatic conditions and specialties and all of them has many organisms of various kinds for example polar bears are found in cold areas whereas camels present in dry or we can say desert areas in humid or moist places different kinds of animals like crabs crocodiles frogs fish etc are present whereas in the hilly or mountainous regions yaks and goats are present similarly here in all these areas different kinds of plants are present for example like oak pine and deodar are found in hilly areas or in mountainous region whereas cactus like plants are found in desert areas these plants are different from the plants present in other areas habitat and adaptations the presence of specific features or certain habits which enable a plant or an animal to live in its surroundings is called adaptation different animals are adapted to their surroundings in different ways now let us know about habitat the surroundings where organism live is called its habitat the organism depends for their food water air and shelter and other needs on their habitat habitats are mainly of two types first is terrestrial habitat and second is aquatic habitat the plants and the animals that live on land are called terrestrial organisms and their habitats are called terrestrial habitat some examples of terrestrial habitats are forests grasslands deserts coastal and mountain regions on the other hand the plants and animals that live in water are called aquatic plants and aquatic animals and their habitat are called aquatic habitat for example ponds swamps lakes rivers and oceans there are 
large variations in forests, grasslands, deserts, coastal and mountainous regions located in different parts of the world. This is true for all aquatic habitats as well. The different components of an area are of two types. Biotic components and abiotic components. Biotic components. The living things such as plants and animals and microorganisms in a habitat are its biotic components. Abiotic components. Various non-living things such as rocks, soil, air and water in a habitat called its abiotic components. Dear students, let us go for a journey through different habitats. First of all, terrestrial habitat. Terrestrial habitats are of three types. Deserts, mountains and grasslands. Deserts. Sahara Desert is the largest desert in the world. It is located in Africa. All deserts are usually very hot and dry. The reason for this is less rainfall and more evaporation. Yet large number of plants and animals survive here with the help of different adaptations. For example, camel. It has long legs which help it keeping the body away from the heat of the sand. There is very less loss of water with faces from its body. Its back has a hump. Fat is stored here and it acts as a food reserve. Camel also have long eyelashes which protect its eyes from sand. It can drink about 46 liters of water at once and then it can stay without water for many days. The camels can walk on sand because of their broad and padded foot. Dear students, now let us discuss about some adaptations present in desert plants. Cactus commonly grow in deserts. In this plant, the leaves are reduced to spines. This help in reducing loss of water. Generally, roots of desert plants are very long that goes very deep into the soil for absorbing water. Now, dear students, let us discuss about mountain regions. Animals and plants present in mountain regions are very different from those present in other regions. These animals and plants are well adapted to live in these colder areas. The trees present here are normally cone shaped and have slopy branches. The leaves of some of the trees are needle like. This helps the rainwater and snow to slide off easily. 
animals living in the mountain regions are also adapted to the conditions here. For example, yak and mountain goats, they have thick skin or fur to protect them from cold. They have long hairs to keep them warm. Now, dear students, let us discuss about aquatic habitats. Different kinds of plants and animals are present in oceans. They all are well adapted to that environment. For example, fish and many other sea animals. They have streamlined body which help them to move easily in water. Fish have flat tail and fins which help it to change direction and maintain balance in water. Fish have gills in their body which help them use oxygen dissolved in water. There are some animals like squids and octopus which do not have streamlined shapes. But when they move in water, they make their body shapes streamlined. There are some sea animals like dolphins and whales that do not have gills. They breathe in air through nostrils or blowholes that are located on the upper parts of their heads. Now, dear students, let us study about characteristics of living organisms. These are some characteristics of living organisms. All living organisms need food. All living organisms show growth. All living organisms respire. All living things respond to stimuli. All living organisms excrete. All living organisms reproduce their own kind. All living organisms move. Dear students, habitats are of two types. Terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitats. Those organisms that live on land are called to live in terrestrial habitats. Whereas organisms that live in water are called to live in aquatic habitats. Now, dear students, let us revise the chapter and go through the main points. The presence of specific features and habits which enables a plant or an animal to live in a particular habitat is called adaptation. The surrounding where plants and animals live is called their habitat. There are two main types of habitats, terrestrial habitat and aquatic habitat. Plants, animals and microorganisms together constitute biotic components whereas rocks, soil, air and water are some of the abiotic components of our surroundings. Now, dear children, 
let us discuss some questions and I hope you all have correct answers. Question number 1 give one example of each an aquatic plant yes lotus a desert plant yes cactus a terrestrial plant we have so many terrestrial plants like mango apple guava you can choose any one question number two which one is the habitat of a camel aquatic habitat mountain habitat desert habitat or grassland yes camels live in desert so its habitat is desert habitat question number three soil water and air are which type of components biotic or abiotic yes soil water air light temperature all these are abiotic components of an environment question number four gills in fish help it to respire in water is this statement true or false yes it is true fish have gills which help it to respire in water so dear students now we came to an end of this chapter i hope you all have understood this chapter nicely you all stay safe be happy and keep studying. We will soon meet with a new chapter. Thank you.